And the strange irony was a year later, they did the same thing for Martin Luther King, who was not a Christian at all, whose life was immoral. I'm not saying he didn't do some social good, and I've always been glad that he was a pacifist or he could have started a real revolution. a question during uh they always have q a one of their sundays at their church so i'm gonna uh let's play the question that way you guys can hear the question uh how he was asked and then i'm gonna show you the response that uh one of the social justice warriors ended up responding to this issue and you'll be like hey, what is going on over here okay 55 years of faithful ministry okay leave pastor MacArthur alone so let's uh listen in to the debacle there's always something <laughs> but there's no there there but you know yeah so let's listen yeah so there are, there are some major organizations that have been around for the last uh, at least 10 years uh, one was the gospel coalition started out with noble intent to bring different people together leaders pastors theologians uh, around the gospel it was very much like t4g together for the gospel uh, that, that had that conference. We had as many as 10,000 people. I was a part of that uh, every year at these huge conventions, and it was together for the gospel. But um, both of those organizations, well, T4G is, is basically non-existent. They, uh, they bought into the deceptiveness of the woke movement and the racial um, baiting that was going on a couple of years ago, and it literally put them out of existence. I was thinking the other day how interesting it was that the, the last panel discussion that I was on at a T4G event was, was to honor R.C. Sproul, who had died. And I, I spoke at his funeral. This was, I think, 2017 or 2018. But, uh, so t the T4G guys wanted to honor him uh, with a panel, and we, we spent an hour, an hour and 15 minutes. And it was just beautiful tributes to R.C. from all of us who knew him so very, very well. And the strange irony was a year later, they did the same thing for Martin Luther King who was not a Christian at all, whose life was immoral. I'm not saying he didn't do some social good, and I've always been glad that he was a pacifist or he could have started a real revolution. But you don't, you don't honor a non-believer um, who misrepresented everything about Christ and the gospel in an organization alongside honoring somebody like R.C. Sproul. Okay, so uh, that was Pastor MacArthur, okay, and you heard what he said over there, okay, MLK, okay, so before I play for you, that's what he said, so I'm going to show you the response that Christianity Today ended up posting, okay, so this is Christianity Today. And the person who wrote this is uh, Justin Gibani. He's, uh, he's a lawyer, and I think he's in charge of the end campaign. He's very vocal. You know, he's everything social justice, okay? He's one of the social justice warriors. So, Christian Day Today, uh, chief editor is Russell Moore. I don't see how anybody would put this article without the approval of Russell Moore, okay? And... <laughs> I know MacArthur does not associate with those guys anymore because of their compromise on uh, on the gospel in terms of the social justice. So this is what Justin uh, put out. Okay, we're just gonna read uh, a clip on, uh, on it, and it says MacArthur cast the condemnation. So this is because you know John MacArthur made a comment saying that uh, you know in 2018 they were honoring um, MLK. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, in the same way, like, they honored ISIS Pro, given that MLK was not a Christian. This has been well documented. But we know, like, you know, you thou shall not say anything negative about MLK. But the stuff is just out there. Okay? So, let's take a look over here. MacArthur cast these condemnations casually with an apparent air of self-righteousness that suggests that his theological expertise is paired with an effeter understanding of a neighborly love. Hebrews 5.11, he's adding a scripture over there. Deep knowledge of systematic theology unfortunately can exist alongside a desperate need for remedial instruction on the greatest commandment, Matthew 22. 
and a, f and a failure to distinguish good from evil. Excluding King's good work of peace and justice, informed by scripture and motivated by the gospel. I spoke at MRK 50 and I don't recall seeing any speakers who weren't an ambiguous orthodox. MacArthur's accusations aren't only too lightly made, they are plainly slanderous. So this is Justin Gebani, okay, accusing uh, uh, Pastor MacArthur of uh, slandering MLK. So I don't understand why, you know, he, he, you know, he would say that because as far as the issue uh, MLK is concerned, you just Google it. And I think eventually they're going to make the tapes available and it's, it's just going to be public. Okay, he was, you know, um, uh, civil rights movement era. Like he did those things. But once again, just because somebody is a celebrity, they just don't get a pass of being a Christian. It's still the same test. If you do not hold to the core uh, orthodox of what it means to be a Christian, you're not a Christian. It doesn't matter how much good work that you're doing. If he, you know, he denies the deed of Christ, he denies the body resurrection of Jesus Christ. I mean, come on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we have an issue with the Mormons. We have an issue with Jehovah's Witness. We're having an issue with Kanye West over here. So what's so special about MLK? If he denies those things, biblically speaking, you cannot be a Christian. That's not me. That's the scripture. So this idea of just, you know, ushering everybody, you know, the kingdom, it's not good. It's not good at all. But, you know, uh, we have uh, gentlemen over here who have done extensive work as far as this issue is concerned, and they did respond. So let's hear into the response that they gave. Here we go. A soteriology whereby they can say, well, how dare you criticize this man? I mean, he's tantamount to being a saint. You know, uh, the only thing left to do for MLK is to beatify this man. Mm -hmm. so, so, so I think that's at the root of what people like Gibney are, are trying to argue here. And you, when you look at uh, uh, Gibney's use of the word uh, slander in terms of McCarthy, you know, slander is a legal term. Yes. Uh, but the loose, as, as loosely as Gibney uh, apparently defines that term, I could just as well assert that he slandered MacArthur in this paragraph right. that we've been talking about earlier. When he accuses MacArthur of having a, uh, of number one, of, uh, of uh, casting these condemnations towards MLK casually uh, with an apparent air of self-righteousness, paired with an infantile understanding of neighborly love. Uh, and, and, and so he, he doubles down on the infantile understanding by saying, by suggesting that King uh, has a rudimentary understanding of these uh, biblical doctrines and principles. Now, John MacArthur is going to be 85 years old in, in June of 2024. I, I don't know how, Gib how old Gibbony is, but he's not 85. No. So the infant here is not John MacArthur. Okay, the infant, just chronologically speaking, the infant here is not John MacArthur. Let me just say that. But based on giving these construct of uh, of uh, uh, slander, um, I could just as easily argue that he slandered MacArthur here. But this, this is the arrogance. This is the hubris of social justice warriors who 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 think that they they are the only ones carrying the flag of what is right. They're they're the only one carrying the flag of virtue. They're the only one carrying the flag of anything that's redemptive about human nature. Uh, and what I've found when it comes to MLK, it's always an emotional uh, reaction to even to objective criticism by people who pretty much see this man as some type of Moses figure that has yet to lead us out of yet another mm -hmm. promised land. Mm -hmm. So, so they can't they can't stand they cannot tolerate even a modicum of objective critique. And when I say objective, I mean by uh, sources that are outside of my own opinion of the man right this is where virgil and i come in because we have written extensively on mlk citing sources outside of ourselves yes to establish and support our argument that that mlk was not a christian in the biblical definition of the word he was not even a uh preacher in the biblical definition of the word mm -hmm. he wasn't a pastor in the biblical definition of the word mm -hmm. anyone can stand up and be a good orator in a pulpit and king was that he was probably sure. one of the most brilliantly gifted communicators of mm -hmm. the 20th century, yep. if, if not all of human history. So, But that doesn't make you a pastor. That doesn't make you a preacher. That makes you a good speaker. That makes right. you an orker. That may make you eloquent, okay, but that doesn't make you theologically correct. So right. there's a lot of, uh, really, I believe, a, there's a, a forensic lens that we need to place upon M.L. King. And look at this man 
in terms of what the Bible says, as opposed to, you know, whatever um, affinity for or appreciation for someone like uh, Gibbony might have to where he gets all consternated uh, when someone like a John MacArthur uh, has the temerity to say the king was not a Christian. Um, I, I, would, I would challenge him to look at King more objectively than he does now. Yes. There you have it. There you have it. So I was just like, well, <laughs> there's people who've already done good work on this issue, and we just let them uh, respond. So I was just like, okay, you know, Gibbon, come on, man, you know, why are you creating... You're making a big deal out of nothing. Things have been well documented beyond whatever Joe MacArthur said. Other people have said it. I haven't seen no articles uh, in the Christianity astray. <laughs> I guess maybe that's why they, they took an offense because Joe MacArthur called it Christianity astray. <laughs> and people called it Christianity yesterday, Christianity astray, whatever name you put it, because, you know, uh, it lost its flavor of, you know, standing on true, godly, uh, uh, principles. Uh, the situation with John MacArthur is concerned, but you know, what say you guys? Do you think there's there there? Okay, you know, I think he's just making a big deal out of nothing. There's nothing there. We should just what? Keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving. All right, guys. So that was uh, uh, John MacArthur being, according to Justin Gibbane, writing Christianity Today, claiming that John MacArthur slandered MLK. Do you think John MacArthur slandered MLK? I'm interested to know. Please leave me a comment. I want to see it in the chat.